Your comm link buzzes. There is a series of clicks as the connection is established. A moment later, Paul Amstel begins to speak. All right, Novacat, that's the uh, technology complex just in front of you. You'll note the heavy security posted at the front door. Those are as technology employees. They're dangerous to be sure, but you could probably take them without too much difficulty. Unfortunately, the Aziz have also contracted Knight Aaron to protect this facility. They're the ones that we need to worry about. Just to reiterate, you'll want to keep a low profile on this run. Get in and out as quickly and quietly as possible. Knight Errand keeps a high threat response team on site, and you don't want to tangle with them. Trust me on that. If you do need to go loud, give it everything you've got. You're going to be reducing the building to a smoldering crater anyway. But I'd highly recommend stealth over a frontal assault. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. If I were you, I'd begin by trying to find an alternate path into the building. Something out of sight. Once the facility calls for help, you're going to be on a tight timetable. Alright. An alternate way in. Let's see. Wow, that is a shoddily built soy calf shop. Oh no, I see it. Okay, yeah, I see how that looks. Hello. What's going on over here? A human and a dwarf, both in their early 20s, stand huddled in the courtyard. They don't seem to notice your approach. She's been gone a long time, Mira. I'm getting worried, aren't you? She's my girlfriend, Heimrich. Of course I'm worried, but she can handle herself. On the streets, yeah, but against the Yazis? I... I just don't know. <gasps> Hello! How you doing? She'll be okay. Brave words, but her tone tells a different story. It's plain as day that she's worried sick. Oh man, I don't know what to do, Mira. And I still say that messing with the Azis was a bad idea. What else were we supposed to do? The, that compound of theirs is lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. They've got more power than they know what to do with. We need that juice, Heimer. Our solar collectors are garbage. If we can't keep the lights on after a few days of cloud cover, how do you think we're going to survive the winter? I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit eepy, but I have coffee and also iced tea with lots of sugar. So I will probably get through the stream. Um, how are you doing? I know, Mira, I know. But couldn't we have just bought some second-hand panels? They can't be that expensive. She sighs. We could have, sure, before Danny spent her last handful of New Yen on those forged key, on those forged key cards. She straightens up, puts on a brave face. She'll be fine. She'll be back any second now. Just you wait. Hey, uh, what's going on? She looks up at you, her expression guarded. Yeah, what do you want? Couldn't help overhearing you two. Going up going up against that technology, huh? We're not going up against anything. She dishes broadly at her, at her own body. Do we look like Shadowrunners to you? We're just, uh, improvising. Trying to stay in business. This guy looks like Post Malone. He gives Mira a significant glance. The only way we can. Could you two use some help? It sounds like your friend has gotten herself into trouble. Her tone is sharp. We'll be fine. What we don't need is a what we don't need is a stranger butting into our business. So just go away, all right? Have a nice day. Mira, look at her. That's a professional. She can help us. He takes a step forward, his arms wide. Please, ma'am. We do need your help. She just doesn't want to admit it. If it's bad for the Aziz, it's good for me. I'll help you out. Oh, thank God. And thank you, too. He turns to Mira. Give her the spare key card that Danny bought. She's going to fix this for us. You can see the mistrust in her eyes, but after a moment's hesitation, she begins to fish around in her bag. Finally, she produces a thick plastic key card. She hands it to you. This will get you into the utility tunnel. Danny went down there about half an hour ago. She said she'd be back in ten minutes. Find her for us, okay? Please bring her back safe. You got it. Somebody spent a fair amount of money on this utility hatch, and it's plastered with the anti-tampering warnings to prove it. Take a closer look. A cursory inspection shows you that the hatch has been mag-locked. A fairly a sophisticated model from the looks of it. Short of using an authorized keycard, there's no way you're getting past this thing. I got it. Yeah. Door open. Door no longer stuck. What is that? 
Hmm. Hello. Oh, are you... Yeah, I bet you're the one I'm here for. In an instant, you size up the scene playing out in front of you. A young elf dressed in the, si in the same shabby chic clothes that the cafe kids were. Danny, cornered with no place to run. A pair of vast technology security dro drones closing in for the kill. The drones are low-grade, but they're armed, and Danny's hands are empty. She's in trouble, and she knows it. The futility of her situation is written all over her face. An instant later, the drone sensors alert them to your presence. They spin in unison to, fa to face you. Intruders detected. Weapons detected. Lethal force authorized. Danny's eyes widen, and she hits the deck. The panic spills out of her in a scream. Look out! Uh, I mean, I'm not... Hey, I'll be real with you. I'm not scared. <laughs> that was like... We just fucking did it. Danny looks you up and down. When she's finished sizing you up, she puts her hands on her hips and smiles. Thanks for the rescue. It takes a pair to bring a weapon into Azzy territory. Everybody knows that they shoot first if you're packing. I wouldn't have risked it. Life in the shadows is all about taking risks. Yeah, well, life running a soy calf shop is a little more my speed. Not that there aren't risks. There's always a chance that some drunk will beat your windows or a gang will try to shake you down for protection. Those things I can handle. But this... She stares down at the smashed drones and slowly shakes her head. Anyway, yeah, I'll admit it. I got in over my head, but only a little bit. The drones wouldn't have shot me. I wasn't armed, but I wasn't looking forward to spending the next week in an Azzy interrogation cell. I have heard stories. They're true, love. He shakes his head at her. Word to the wise, if you're fool enough to try something like this again, carry a gun. Better to be shot than to let them take you. I'll take your word for it. I'm not planning on making a habit of this. She slaps the side of a power conduit with a smile. And I shouldn't need to. The tap's all hooked up and ready. Impressive. Heimrich wasn't convinced that you could pull it off. Yeah, well, it's amazing what you can teach yourself to do when your livelihood depends on it. Ager leans in to inspect her work. Looks like a pretty solid connection. Nothing's jumping out at me as being obviously wrong. I'd say that you're probably good to go. She straightens, casts a glance back at you. You know, Novacat, we could use this setup to our advantage. In theory, we could manufacture a power spike from here, overload the Azzy's entire power grid. Without disabling the generator's safety overrides, it wouldn't cause any permanent damage, but the confusion might give us an opening to get into the building. She shrugs. It could be the opening we've been looking for. Danny's eyes go wide. Whoa, hold up! If you do that, they'll trace it! As technology will find the power tap and they'll come down on us! We can make it worth your while. No, you can't. There's nothing you could give us that would make up for what you're talking about doing. So please just drop it, okay? You're right. Nobody needs that kind of heat. I'll find another way in. She breathes a sigh of relief. Thanks. You know, some people say that Shadowrunners are ruthless criminals. Guns for hire, just, the, just out for the money. It's good to see that isn't always the case. I'm gonna bail on out of here. I've been stuck in this tunnel too long already, and like you said, the others are worried. But if there's any, ever anything that we can do for you, come by the shop. You'll be welcome at our place for life. Hell yeah. And now I do it. <laughs> no, it won't. Um. Yeah, damn, they shoot you if you're packing, which means they would shoot me, like, instantly and kill me without a moment's hesitation. Danny looks up at you with a smile. There she is, our hero. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks for bringing her back to us. Yeah, thanks. And thank you for helping to keep the Aziz off of our tails. If Danny had been captured, it would have been bad. She reaches up, grabs Danny's hand, clutches it tight. Worse than bad, babe. A lot worse. She looks down at Mira and smiles, squeezes her hand tight. Anyway, thanks again for the rescue. We all owe you a lot. If there's ever anything that any of us can do for you, you just let us know. Alright, that didn't even give me karma. That was just that was just doing good for good sake. I guess. That's the uh is it the second gay couple that we've seen in this game so far? I think? Second? What was the first one? 
I remember that we saw one earlier, but I can't remember. Oh, I mean, there's Monica and the protagonist, which we confirmed. Oh, Glory! Glory and Marta. This LTG text coveralls are smeared with sweat and grime. A scowl is plastered across her face. She takes a quick glance at you, then turns back to her work. Unless you're here to help me fix this panel, you'd better stay the hell out of my hair. Otherwise, I'll call security and have them drag you out. Uh, actually, I think that I could help you. It looks like your problem is coming from somewhere upstream. See those connectors there? Hey, yeah, you're right. She looks up at you. The scowl has disappeared from her face, but she doesn't look happy either. Look, I really appreciate the help, but I have to do this myself. I'm already way behind, and Corpus gonna have my ass if I don't get it done before lunch. You know, if you're that far behind, you could always go catch up on your other work. Leave me to work on the panel. It'd be no trouble. A confused scowl crosses her face. I don't even know you, buddy. Why in God's name would I leave you alone with a panel that I'm responsible for? Well, that way you could claim your 300 new yen efficiency bonus. The scowl drops off of her face, replaced with a blank stare. A second later, she finishes processing what you've said. A sly smile creeps across her lips. You know what? I do deserve an efficiency bonus. She snatches her PDA off of her belt and presses it to your cred stick. Once the transfer is completed, she steps away from the panel. And now I am going to go get plastered. Efficiently. Good for you. Good for her. Door open. Easy. See, we didn't even need to uh, ruin that that soy calf cafe's life. You know, all we had to do was bribe a tech person. The glittering halls of the Ass Technology Facility stand in sharp contrast to the Megacorp's unsavory reputation. Everything here, everything in here screams money, from the mirror polish on the floors to the obsidian overlay inlays in the walls. The generators and the Bloodline Project lie somewhere beneath your feet. Alright, let's get to the basement. Nice work, Novacat. There have been no alerts thus far. Hopefully, you'll continue to avoid detection as you make your way through the building. If an alert does go out, I'll get you an ETA on their reinforcements, but hopefully, it won't come to that. I have marked an elevator on your PDA. I'd start making my way there if I were you. It's the most efficient path to reach your objective. Best of luck. Alright. Oh, wow. I really... Oh, wait, hold on. This could be risky. Riskier than it needs to be, anyway. Mm, come on! Okay, we're fine. It's just so annoying when my turn gets interrupted by fucking enemies spawning. And this only, like, this really only happens when I'm decking, and it's just the worst. It's like, no chance to get into cover, just suddenly you're in combat. What the fuck? Alright. Uh let's take the security cameras. Also do this really quick. Oh, I can have uh, both of them do this. The 
cut down on the time I'm spending on it. That's really convenient, actually. I like that. And then... Oh, I can't hit the button. Alright, did that open all the security doors too? It did. Alright. There's gotta be good pay data in here. I, yeah. Literally just found it. Okay, that security guard there might be a problem. Can I get, like, security clearance? Can I get, like, an ID badge? Activate the terminal. The terminal springs to life. A quick scan of its contents reveals little of value, but you do find a message that catches your attention. From Meyer Fatima J to Katya Launch. Katya, I've got some pretty grave concerns about this new project. I don't know what they're doing downstairs, not exactly anyway, but I'm pretty thoroughly creeped out by some of the inventory requests that have been coming up to my desk recently. When we decided to sign on with As Technology, we talked this over. We knew the company's reputation, and I said that I could handle whatever came my way. But this... I don't know, Katya. That last order crossed the line. What would the research team need with a bulk order of gags, restraints, and 500 liters of hydrochloric acid? Oh, I've got to run. Just got a message over the comm. Looks like Central wants to see me about something. I'll catch you back at your apartment later tonight. Let's talk this over. A, let's talk about this over a bottle of wine. I know that I could use it. Something tells me that she never got to enjoy that glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah, she probably died the moment she sent that email. Um, that do be how the Azzies do. If I just walk around like I belong here, it should be fine, right? Is there anybody in here? Oh, about to be. I wonder if stealth works the way you would think stealth would work. Like, can I just wait until this guy goes back into that other room? Apparently. Apparently that works out all right. What's this? Ooh. Grimly, your teammates said about struggling into the complicated of the Nilform uniforms. Hell yes. Okay, now we have a disguise so we can walk around freely. A few minutes of cursing and a couple of popped rivets later, the job is done. You take a moment to examine your team, then nod in satisfaction. They look like a group of authentic knight-errant security officers. Well, that's handy. I'm not much for sneaking around, but if we're gonna do it, we might as well go all the way. He claps you on the shoulder. Good find, boss. Hell yeah. Okay. Now we're just free to walk around. Oh. The elevator guard steps toward you, his weapon slung. I didn't hear about any KE assets being deployed in the sector. Why are you here? Yeah, I was just transferred from HQ. They've got me walking the perimeter to familiarize myself with the building. He smirks. Well, enjoy the walk, and get used to it. They'll have you walk the perimeter for the next few months at least. Damn, it's a fucking good thing that my my goddamn... Uh... The charisma is high. I'm gonna do a quick save before we talk to this guy, I think. Which will almost crash the game, apparently. A worried-looking man in an expensive suit is pacing back and forth in his room. He locks eyes with you, and you can feel the fear radiating out of him. He looks surprised to see you, but not alarmed. Oh, hey! I don't usually see Knight Errand personnel wandering around this, this part of the building. What's up? Just making my rounds. They have doubled patrols tonight. He looks relieved. All right. Well, I won't keep you, but it makes me feel safer knowing that you guys are around. Just doing my job. All right. Easy. Taken care of. Not a threat. Wow, that was really easy. We got through there, no problem. 
Your stomach lurches slightly as the elevator plummets downward into the bowels of the Ass Technology Facility. A faint but omnipresent thrumming sound raises the hair on the back of your head, on the back of your neck. The deeper you go, the more certain you become. This place is vibrating with power, both from generators and from... something else. Magic. Probably. Or evil. The thrumming power of evil. Well done, Novacat. I'm not seeing any calm chatter to indicate the night errand is aware of your presence. I've located a new exit point for you. A security door conveniently located near the generators. I will mark its location on your PDA. Keep up the good work, Novacat. I'll contact you if anything changes. Alright. This is going way too smoothly. Uh-oh. The door slides open with a hiss, revealing a surprised-looking young woman in an Ass Technology security uniform. She stepped towards you, her weapon drawn. Stop! Who are you? She half raises her rifle. Identify yourself. Calm down. My name's Mueller. Knight Aaron sent me. She sounds suspicious. On edge. Let me see some ID. I don't need to show you anything. Central has some concerns about your loyalty. Her eyes go wide. What? We've never done a thing to... Skip it. If you know what's good for you and your career, you'll step aside and let me do my job. If what you're saying is true, why haven't we heard anything over the comms about it? Beats the hell out of me. I suggest that you go ask Central about it. She pauses. This isn't protocol. This entire story is su just get out of my way. She shakes her head. You're not, you're not Knight Errant. I don't know who you are, but you just made a huge mistake. Ah, fuck. The moment we walk in. Ow. Shit. The moment we get in here and it's all, just all hell breaks loose. Well, I mean, better than it being earlier, I, I guess. Oh, what? She can't get that? Hold on. Yes, she can. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need to make her fast. Make my glory fast. You guys aren't hitting any security buttons, are you? So that would be really unfortunate for me. That would be like the worst. Can you see Glory's claws in that outfit? You kind of, yeah, you can. That's cool. I, you know what? I feel like that was probably always a shuriken, and I just assumed it was throwing knives because of the icons of the skills. Ooh, that sucks, Charles. I hope uh, everything's all right over there. Do you guys hear chanting? Did y'all hear that? Am I going crazy? You heard that, right? Uh, is there... There's nothing to interact with here. I mean, we're blowing up the building anyway, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter if we're killing people. Everybody here is going to die. Wow, that's grim. Didn't realize how grim that was until I said it. Uh-oh. Keep moving, Novacat. You're almost there. When you reach the control panel for the generators, the password Zolotl should allow you to disengage the security overrides. Set the destruct and get out. See you back at the cruise bazaar. Alright. 
can't get in there. Though I'm sure that might open. If I had a drone, we could totally get in there. Oh wait, no, I think that I think this just goes. Where does that go? Oh, this is not a room for glory. Let's get everybody else into position, because I think people are going to come out that door. Or not. Man, I don't want to put glory there. It's like the most dangerous place for her. Put her right next to an explosive barrel. That'll go well. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. I literally clicked to go into cover and the game was like, nah. Nah, actually what we'll do instead is uh, go fuck yourself. We'll interrupt your turn because some guys spawned and we can't register your full movement because of that. Just, just super fucking annoying. Oh. We can't actually do that. Probably gonna have to reset the PC one more time for good measure, but we're fine. That's good. Is it? Did you just get a power outage because it's hot? That's a thing that happens in summer more often than summer and winter, I guess. Extreme temperatures tends to have that stuff happen more often, I guess. Why are we having a turn? <laughs> the folks out there literally aren't doing anything. They're just waiting. What else is in here? Oh, yeah, the Shockwell and Rider wanted me to get some pay data, too, huh? Security cameras. That would be helpful. I don't know if it's super worth my effort, but that would be helpful. It's so fucking annoying. This game's so annoying sometimes it makes me sick. It's like, oh yeah. This guy is right in front of you, but it's like 83% chance to hit. Like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. Yeah, we got a new mod. New cyberware. Eventually, I'm going to be more robot than cat girl. And that'll be fine. Oh, that was a lot of turns. Did you see that? <laughs> that was a lot of turns. 
Uh, that doesn't make me very comfortable. <laughs> Hopefully this is the last of the decking that I have to do here. Ah! Hell yeah. That makes me comfortable. I do like head pats. Thank you. Okay, I think we are... You know what? Let's leave this to the ESP and we'll get Nova Cat out of there. That seems like a more efficient usage of my time. Scan the node for pay data. A cursory exploration of the data store turns up nothing of value. There are hundreds of log files, the majority of which contain spending and logistics reports. Wow, really? Oh, so that's just a fucking waste of time? That's annoying. Well, the door is open. There are no... Oh, you're right. Now I can see their turns because we have the security camera open. What the fuck? What is that? Some kind of fucked up alien. Oh! Y'all were ready, huh? What? That's not... That's literally not what I clicked to do. She just went and stood next to the guy. That's not what I... Okay. I feel like CRPGs like this need like an undo button. You know? Uh-oh. I don't know what you just did, but I'm seeing a sudden burst of calm traffic. You must have tripped an alarm of some kind. Get ready, NovaCat. The high threat response team is on its way. Oh, fuck. Oh. You're already EP. I'm not gonna waste that on you right now. You know what? I might not even- I might as well not even attack you. That's not gonna do anything. Oh, oh, well, it did. It worked a little bit. There's nothing Aegir can do from here. Wow, they're just. Shotgun is definitely, I think, the thing they want you to do with Aegir. Because there's like. Very often, there's no real chance for her to use her rifle all that well. You need distance with the rifle. And, like, enemies never really give you the chance, you know? Get fucked! Bam. Oh, that guy just fell over. He just went to sleep. <laughs> just took a nap. Okay, we gotta hurry. Oh, yeah, it literally shows us, like, how many turns until the high threat response team is here. I didn't even realize. We gotta go a little bit faster. 
It's a good thing we waited, actually. For Nova Cat to get done in the uh, Matrix. So we wouldn't just have to leave her behind. Biom- Oh, shit. That's the thing we need Nova Cat up here for. Oh, wait. Dietrich, is your haste off cooldown, actually? Get her over here. A mag lock with a voice print recognition system has been affixed to this door. A according to Amsel, Frau Mueller has already logged your voice print into the system, but there's only one way to be sure. Okay, open up. Authorization Novacat. The screen background changes from blue to green. You hear the sound of heavy machinery rumbling to life. A moment later, the locks on the door release. Uh. Hello! The door slides open, revealing a group of figures wearing green cloaks. The tallest of the figures stands just in front of you, a slight smile on his face. His eyes are full of intelligence and malice. Ah, at last, our intruder arrives. His voice is slow and soft, with a slight Aztlaner accent. You are a Shadowrunner, here on a job. This much is obvious. So tell me, who has sent you here? You don't scare me, Blood Mage. The Blood Mage pauses for a moment, inspecting you. Such insolence! Such hubris! He shakes his head. So very, very foolish. You will answer my questions, Pest, whether you want to or not. His mouth twists into a cruel smile. In a single, smooth motion, he pulls a knife from his belt and brings it along... and draws it along his own forearm. The blade leaves a stripe of bright red blood in its wake. Still smiling, he begins to chant. Attack him before you can finish. The blood mage is caught off guard, but only for a moment. He adjusts with inhuman speed, sending his ritualistic blade clattering to the ground and dropping into a defensive stance. Let's fucking go, bitch. Let's do it. I love killing a blood mage. Even the blood mages are actually pretty cool. There's nothing cool. There's nothing in this world cooler than blood magic. That's just a fact, honestly. That shouldn't be cover. She can literally turn the... Okay. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of fucking damage. That was actually a scary amount of damage. Oh, this is an AoE. Well, I was just thinking like blood bending, like from Korra. No, not from Korra. That's just from Avatar: The Last Airbender, right? that actually I've never seen that in my life what are we doing here oh that probably right uh let's go see what's through this door Bad is through that door. Bad, not good, very bad. Very bad, not good. Awful, hate it, bad. Can I hit him from here? Yep. 
Fuck yes. I've never seen Korra or Avatar. But that's mostly because, like, getting me to watch any show is, like, a gargantuan effort. Considering there are already so many shows that I'm like, oh, I want to watch this. Like, I just downloaded, like, all of Dragon Ball. Like, not just Dragon Ball, but Dragon Ball Z and Super and... GT. I wanna watch I wanna watch Dragon Ball GT so fucking bad, you have no idea. not, right? Uh, overload the generators. Oh. Uh, disable the generators to secure safety overrides. Zolotl? Do it. Overload the generators. The terminal processes your command. An instant le <laughs> I'm just imagining this fucking like fire spirit and like tapping away on a keyboard and also happens to know the password that's relevant to this job. That's really fucking funny. An instant later, a high pitched screeching noise erupts from the generators. Tremors rock the facility, shaking the ground under your feet. Wait, really? Over the building speakers, a th synthesized female voice repeatedly states the obvious. Generator overload imminent. Please evacuate the facility. That's not it. Come on, boss. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait. Oh. You know, I reckon you were probably right. Because I would obviously want to free the prisoners here, huh? Whoa. Holy shit, it's Cardinal Sinful. Hello. You know, it's been a while since anybody redeemed sex, Mario. It's been a while, yeah. It's been a while. Is that the song? I can't. Remember. I don't know what that song is. Okay. I'm gonna open all the cell doors. Ah, oh, fuck. I talk to them first, I guess. God damn it! Why can't they t do the talking? <sighs> God damn it. I feel like this is gonna go really bad. Like, extremely bad. It'll be f 
fine, I'm sure. Hey, the Shadowrun game fucking whips. Or the SNES Shadowrun fucking whips. That game rules. We played that on stream, actually. We did that in like a vi on, in video and on stream. That game rules. It's definitely old janky trying to emulate a CRPG on like the a SNES, which doesn't really work. But I liked that game. Jake Armitage is a bro. I like that guy. I like his cameo in Shadowrun Returns. It's very good. Okay, well. Okay, is this the, is this the door out? Because if that's the door out, I don't know if we're in that much danger. I can probably swing this. I can probably manage. It's just the issue is that we're going to be leaving Nova Cat alone. Which is, yes, definitely an issue. Especially if people come in the back way. Oh no, how long is this? Because I probably want to get the pay data for the shock well in Nitro 2, right? Did we already get that? What could getting through this even do for me? Yeah, we didn't get that pay data yet. That specific pay data. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Good thing multiple turns in the Matrix only count as one turn in, uh, in the meat space. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Wait. That door is locked. Can this spirit go away? Man, I really should have waited to activate the generator, huh? That was a big boo-boo mistake that I made. It did save immediately before the fight that uh, broke out in that room, so... If we do, fu if we do completely fuck this, then we're not going... Too far back. The moment I get over here, that more things are gonna. Oh no, it's already there. I really wish there was multiple jack out points. That's- Ah, oh, shit! There might be, actually. What did that do? Oh, fuck. It got us access to this terminal, didn't it? Oh, 
Okay, hey, it's been two hours. Let's load the last save. Um, and then not make that mistake a second time. Uh, and then when we come back, we'll 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 take a break. We'll try that again. That's the plan. Okay. All right. All right. I'll be right back. 